Uh, my name is Imran. I'm a lead systems engineer at Yellow Pages. So today I'm going to be talking about centralized logging solution on Mesos using Elk Stack. So what are the issues basically with the Mesos logging like that you currently see? The thing is that there is no uh, like, uh, no common view. For example, like if you're basically running multiple instances of an app, so you go to the Mesos UI, you click on the sandbox, and you go to standard or standard error. So for example, consider this thing. For example, if you're running like uh, hundreds of apps at the same time, and you are running like this many containers. So you will have to basically go to the interface for each one of them to basically see where is my logging going, what my app is doing, and how it is generating the logs and everything. So this is basically like a, uh, the issue was, uh, yeah, it was an issue for us. Uh, so then, for example, like if you, have to de if you have to debug the issue, how do you debug it? Uh, for example, how do you identify which container uh, is, basing the, uh, is having the issue for, for a particular app? So again, you basically go to the UI, you basically identify the container, and you do all of that. Uh, let's say like you don't see anything on the standard out and standard out. So how do you debug the issue then? How do you find out whether the issue was related to Docker, some Mesos, or some system logs? Again, so basically it's like the whole like the uh, 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 whole method things that you would basically care, care about. And how do you basically stitch all these informations together? Uh, whether it is basically linked to this uh, host, this system, this log, Docker logs, or these Mesos logs, how do you basically compile all of that? Uh, let's say you are able to stitch it together. You say, okay, this container has an issue, but now how do you map it, that container to this Mesos task ID and this particular marathon app? So this is like a genuine issue for us. So the, again, there are, uh, uh, Multiple Docker solutions that are available. Uh, people are basically are doing some uh, 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 some good stuff on the Docker front, but none of that truly really fits Mesos uh, landscape. So how do we tackle this issue? How do we basically have a centralized way uh, for any for anybody to just come for anybody that is running on Mesos to come and basically look at, uh, look at like all the logs and everything? Uh, so again, uh, uh, and uh, so basically, so we basically thought, okay, what do we do, uh, what do we do about it? Should we basically pay Splunk and like pay thousands of dollars to basically compile our logs so that we can have a nice UI? Uh, and again, if you do this thing, we have to basically maintain our own infrastructure, and that was our main requirement. We don't want to basically maintain any of the infrastructure for logging. We want everything to be horizontally scalable. Uh, these things should be basically come up and go. Uh, so what? So how did we do that? at yellow pages. Let's say like the, uh, you have this Mesos slave and you are running this many containers on this machine like Docker 1, 2, and 3. So what we do is that we actually uh, run this Logspot container. It's a customized version from YP. We actually have taken the open source Logspot container. It basically aggregates the log from each and every container and then it outputs to syslog. But the thing is that it just like tags it with the container ID. But we want to take it further from there. And then once the data is in the syslog, we have this like uh, log stash forwarder, uh, which basically picks up all these logs from the syslog, and then it sends it uh, uh, to a, a log stash uh, cluster. Again, what I would like to emphasize over here is that all these pieces, basically all the log stash and all the log stash forwarder, they all are running in Docker containers, and they all are running through Mesos and Marathon. So we send the data to this log test, uh, log test cluster, and we are running multiple copies of that. And but now uh, I have an issue. How does my client find this cluster? So we use something like a Mesos DNS in between. Uh, sorry, uh, to basically identify uh, the cluster and the endpoints to hit, and our log test forwarder just sends the data over there. And then uh, once we have the, uh, we have serialized the data in JSON, we send uh, it to an Elasticsearch cluster, and we are, again we are running multiple data nodes, uh, data nodes to really store our uh, data. And then to query this thing, uh, we uh, use some Kibana, Kibana interfaces, and this is again everything is Dockerized, so you can basically technically run multiple copies of that. So this is good for the application log, but now what I was saying was that we wanted to have a common view for everything basically. We want to have a common view for system logs, your, all your Mesos, slave logs, master, and basically all of that, right? So we do the same thing. We basically take all of that and give, uh, gives it to syslog, and syslog picks it up, and then our log stash forwarder does the same thing. So uh, let me show you uh, how does the UI basically looks like. So basically, this is like the Kibana interface. So basically, what we do is that uh, this is this, this uh, these are my logs here, and it basically is coming from this container ID. It belongs to this Mesos task, and basically, it's not the screen, sorry. Oh, my bad. 
How do I do that? How do I do that? Okay, let me uh, let me just do one thing. Uh, like actually, uh, I knew this uh, this might happen like in the demo. So uh, basically, what I did is that I took this uh, snapshot. <laughs> My bad. We just perfect. So basically, here this is the Kibana interface. Uh, you basically see all these container IDs over here. You see the Mesos task. Uh, and the, uh, uh, the app name, Marathon app name. So we, uh, we are basically tagged the each and every log line that is coming from each and every container. Uh, we are tagging it with the container ID, app ID, uh, as well as the Marathon app. So now you can basically have a unified view for, all of you, for viewing all of your logs. And this is not, not the only thing. You can actually plot pretty graphs uh, depending upon the data that you are getting. You can do all the bar charts, you can do all the pie charts, so you can do basically all of that. So again, what I'm trying to say is that it's a unified uh, uh, thing to basically view all your logs. And so what, again, what are we doing at YP? Just give me one second. So we are actually, just, we are just like mentioned, uh, like, I said, like I said, like we are doing a bunch of uh, create, like cool stuff at YP. So we are doing, uh, working on, uh, on, all of the, on all these solutions. And uh, we are going to publish like all the work that we are doing onto the GitHub. Uh, so feel free to check out YP Engineering so you can feel, find like our open source projects that you are going to contribute. And if you have any questions, we have a big contingent of our team here. So feel free to basically grab us and uh, ask any questions that you have.